The first thing you need to do is to make sure that you have enough signal strength from the Wi-Fi network that you intend to attach your Wi-Fi hive scale to for the data to transfer from the scale to the web successfully. If you have an Android phone, you can download an app called Wi-Fi Analyzer. It's free. The app scans the area and shows the signal strength for all the networks that it sees. In this case, it sees Netgear 88. The signal strength is around minus 40 dBm. Using this app, you can go out to your apiary and determine if there is sufficient signal strength for the Wi-Fi hive scale to communicate with the web. If your signal strength is greater than minus 80, preferably maybe higher than minus 75, everything should be fine. If you don't have sufficient signal strength, you will need to increase, install a range extender. We use two different range extenders during our testing, one by a company named Almond and another by a company named Amped Wireless. Amped Wireless is my favorite as the antenna is not built in and can be replaced with a higher dean antenna if necessary, which allows for further increase in range. One benefit of installing a range extender is that you also have extended your Wi-Fi on your property for other uses as well. Amped Wireless is available at Walmart.